Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see the walkthrough of lab number 2. So if you haven't checked out the lab number 1 then I recommend you check that out as well. And if you haven't tried to hack the admins account of lab number 2 then I recommend you to try the lab number 2 by yourself and then watch this video. Okay, so let's get started. So let me go to the lab number 2 and let us analyze the overall functionalities of this web application. So we have three things over here. We have a login functionality, we have a sign up functionality and we have a forgot password functionality, right? So I have already created an account on this platform. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to sign up for an account and then you can test for each and every functionality, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in directly without creating an account because I have already created that account before. So I'm going to log in with my account which was for your star 786 at and the password was Spiderman. And let us try to analyze the response and the request. So I'm going to turn my hacker mode and now I'm going to intercept for request. So as you can see this is the request. It is same as the it is the same request as in lab number one. So I'm going to just intercept the response and as you can see this is the response when we provide a valid password so I'm going to forward this and you have to please keep a note of the valid response which was HTTP 2 200 OK and the response was 1 OK and I'm going to forward this great as you can see I have successfully logged in into my users account and now let us try to uh, hack the admins account using the same method that we did in the lab number one which was a response manipulation method so I'm going to do that so I'm going to provide admin at the rate we practical dot tech and I'm going to type password let's say wrong password and let me intercept the request and as you can see the same request and now I'm going to intercept the response let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see, we got a disp different response, which means that our password was reje rejected by the server. And I'm going to just modify it with 200. And it was OK over here. And we have a value, which was 1. Now I'm going to forward this uh, request and I'm going to turn off the intercept. Let's wait for a few seconds. But as you can see, in this lab, we we were not we were unable to access the admin's account using the same method that we did in lab number one, which means that the the response that this lab is secure from response manipulation technique. So we have to find some other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, see the forgot pa password functionality over here. So I'm going to test forgot password functionality for vulnerabilities that may allow me to get the admin's account. So I'm going to click on forgot password and here I'm going to specify the email address on which I want to send the OTP. So I have actually created two accounts over here. So I'm going to use the second one, yazaman.online at gmail.com. And let's analyze the request here. So as you can see, this is a request send otp.php, a post request and an email parameter. So there's nothing much interesting over here. So I'm going to just forward this and let's wait for a few seconds. As you can see, it is displaying that OTP sent successfully. Now, let's see our, as you can see, we got the email here as well. So the OTP is 841832. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it over here. Uh, let me copy it again. And now, let's try to intercept the request and let's see what is happening behind the scenes. So I'm going to click on verify. So as you can see, we have a post request to the backend.php and we have two parameters over here, the OTP and the email for OTP. So I'm going to just intercept for the response and let's see what the response is. So as you can see, it is displaying one with a 200 OK. And let's see what is happening after that. OK, as you can see, I got logged in into my admin's account, uh, sorry, into my user's account. But, and here, I can change my password, right? But I don't want to do that as of now. So I'm just going to click on back on login. 
and now we are going to test for forgot password vulnerabilities that could allow me to access the admin's account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here and i'm going to type the email address of mine once again line at the rate gmail.com click on send let's wait for a few seconds and let's see we got another mail let me copy the otp let me paste it over here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to modify this email to admin at the rate be practical.com and let's see what happens after that admin at the rate be practical.com dot text sorry and now i'm going to intercept for request and as you can see we again got the same response that we got earlier let me turn off the intercept perfect as you can see he successfully logged in into the admin account so what is happening behind the scene well the server is actually validating only the otp parameter so if the otp is right then the server is allowing anyone to log into anyone's account all you need is to do is you have to just modify the email parameter so this type of vulnerability can also be found in real websites as well so you may able to find this type of vulnerability while doing bug bounty so i hope you understand how we can take over admin's account in lab number 2 thanks for watching